This is Mark Gordon on Tuesday, October 16th, 2012 with a quick look at the markets. This is the NASDAQ composite currently up about a half a percent. And uh, you can see here that we were in this nice channel since June and have fallen out of bed here. Uh, we broke this lower trend line which actually coincides with this blue line which is the 50 day moving average. So we're fighting to get back above that. Uh, we do have some falling moving averages. This uh, uh, red one here is the 21 day and it is now turned to the downside. Uh, the shorter term 10 day, this gray line here is also moving to the downside. So uh, finding a little bit of downward momentum here, trying to get back up and keep a rally going. I would say that if you draw a line uh, along these tops here, that is sort of our wall. And uh, if we can get above that, I would say that would be about the thir uh, 3150 level. Uh, then we might uh, get back into an uptrend. But now we are in a short term downtrend. And looking at a weekly uh, chart of the NASDAQ, you can see this, uh, this downtrend here below this solid blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. And you can see that the uh, red line, the four-week uh, moving average, has crossed below that. So some downward momentum. You can see the channel forming here uh, to the downside. We do have some support coming in here at these moving averages here. The green dotted line is the 20-week moving average, an important moving average. And also we have this black line here, which is the 40 week. So lots of support down here. Let's see what happens. And looking at the gold now, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about a half a percent uh, today. Uh, we had a nice run coming out of August here and forming a bit of a handle sideways action here. Uh, broke to the downside here yesterday, took out this low of 168.34, uh, throwing us now into a downtrend. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, overhead resistance coming here at the 21 day moving average. You have the 10-day moving average here also. We do have support right here at the 166 level with the 50-day moving average here on the GLD. Uh, yesterday was a, a heavy volume day, uh, pickup in volume, a distribution day on a gap. Not great. Uh, let's see if we can ride ourselves here and get support down here at the 50-day moving average. So, so far gold in a short-term downtrend as well. Moving on to a weekly chart of the GLD, you can see a little bit better the support. This is the 10-week moving average, this uh, <coughs> uh, blue line. And you can see it's really rising sharply. Uh, you can see this cup formation here. You can see the handle here. Uh, but you can see support coming in here at the 10-week. Let's hope this holds here at about the 167 and a half level. Silver up almost 1%. This is the SLV, the silver ETF. Uh, you can see the cup here. You can see the handle here, much like the gold. Broke this bottom sort of a uh, line that was forming here. Now in a short-term downtrend as well, just like the gold support. Uh, coming in here hopefully at the 50-day moving average, this blue line, which is currently at 3117, 31.17. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, breaking uh, uh, through this, uh, uh, these two lows here was an important break to the downside. On a pickup in volume, you have two pickups in volume as it fell, two distribution days in a row. Uh, not great for silver. Let's see if we can get support down here at the 50-day moving average. So recapping, we have the stocks in a short-term downtrend. We have the gold and silver in short-term downtrends. Time to be on the sidelines, in my opinion. Let's wait this thing out. If you have positions on, depending where you bought it, you may want to hold, but keep an eye on things. If it starts breaking down substantially from here, um, I would start uh, backing off on your holdings. And uh, let's hope we can uh, get a nice uh, uptrend going. Uh, I would presume after the election, I think gold uh, and silver prices, and of course stock prices, are manipulated, uh, and especially ahead of elections. So time for patience. All right, thanks.